In logic, conditional statements are often expressed in the form if P then Q. From this foundation, three related concepts emerge, the converse, the inverse and the contrapositive. The converse of a statement switches the hypothesis and conclusion resulting in if Q then P, the inverse negates both parts, forming if not P then not Q, the contrapositive both switches and negates, giving if not Q then not P. Understanding these relationships helps clarify how logical statements can be transformed and analyzed for validity. To quickly identify and construct the converse, inverse and contrapositive of any conditional statement, start by breaking the statement into its two parts. The if part, called the hypothesis, and the then part, called the conclusion. For example, consider the statement, if it rains, then the ground gets wet. The converse simply swaps the hypothesis and conclusion. If the ground gets wet, then it rains. The inverse negates both parts. If it does not rain, then the ground does not get wet. The contrapositive both swaps and negates. If the ground does not get wet, then it does not rain. Remembering these simple steps makes it easy to construct all three forms for any conditional statement. Hit subscribe and stay updated.